And back in 2012, China promised to extend concessional loans to African countries to support infrastructure and manufacturing development. Six years later, our reporter Tang Bo takes a look at how Chinese financial institutions have helped to boost South Africa's economy. A routine meeting between a Chinese loan lender and a local recipient. On one side is Li Tianshu and her team from China Construction Bank. On the other, Arbordair, a cable manufacturer in South Africa. Li and her team are here to check the company's financial performance after the loan was given last year. The post-loan management aims to avoid bad loans caused by inappropriate use of the money, asset sales, equity changes, and so on. It's an important part of our financial services package. Funding is always important, especially for companies like Arbordair. It has salaries to pay and raw materials to buy. Its cable-making outfit was purchased by a Chinese company in 2015. It is now South Africa's biggest cable manufacturer with over 1,500 employees. Its production relies primarily on aluminum and copper. But prices are always fluctuating on the international market, so large sums of money are needed to ensure a steady material supply. This facility for Arbordair Cable is just one example of Chinese financial institutions helping Chinese enterprises expand their overseas businesses. Elsewhere, all the financial services from China have touched upon South Africa's key State Department. ESCOM, South Africa's top electricity generator, was on the brink of bankruptcy last year. But it was saved thanks to funding from some foreign financial institutions, including Bank of China. This specific one was uh, for the installation of our transmission lines. You'll remember that uh, we currently are uh, connecting uh, renewable energy projects into our network, so that money will go towards uh, installation of uh, transmission networks. Gavin Bauer, a business development manager from Bank of China, is in charge of post-loan management. He's witnessed changes in ESCOM since they received the new funding. I think before the loan was given, uh, ESCOM was doing business in the infrastructure spend. Post the loan, uh, we've seen changes in the internal governance and management, uh, and we've seen that they've actually accelerated their build program, especially with some of the power stations that have come online. Arbordair and ESCOM are two success stories of African manufacturing and infrastructure development being helped by Chinese companies. We've funded more than 10 billion U.S. dollars for southern African countries over the past 18 years, and we'll further offer over 750 million U.S. dollars for South Africa's industrialization process. We are currently helping South Africa attract foreign businesses and investments to their economic zone. Many international rating agencies downgraded South Africa's credit rating last year. That has led to an increase of investment costs. But due to China's high credit rankings, its financial institutions are able to raise money. Both banks believe they will continue to play a bigger role with the deepening of China-Africa cooperation. Tambo, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.